Welcome to the Paint with Lovejoy podcast, the place where first time and beginner painters can learn more about acrylic painting, the mindset of learning a new skill, and where your creative questions will be answered. Thanks for joining. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my studio. This is Paint with Lovejoy. Thanks so much for joining today. In today's question of Ask Lovejoy, the question that I actually get quite a bit is what type of supplies should I get as a first time or beginner painter? And it's actually a really good question because uh, it can be rather overwhelming when you go to the art store and you just see so many options and you don't know where to start. So this is kind of what I tell all my students is if you have already have supplies, utilize what you already have um, and then replenish your supplies kind of one item at a time and maybe try something different. If you were buying stuff fresh, uh, brand new from the get-go, you don't have anything, um, do try to stay within your budget. You don't have to buy expensive supplies or materials. And I tell my students that you can buy the cheap brushes and you can buy cheaper canvases, uh, stretched canvas or canvas panels, but you do wanna spend a little bit more money on good quality paint compared to just buying whatever the cheapest paint is available. Um, you'll find that with the cheap paint, there's gonna be a lot of fillers. Sometimes it's gonna be super runny. Sometimes it's gonna dry crazy quick um, and not give you any workability window there. So, like I said, you can buy those cheaper brushes and the cheaper canvas surfaces until you find what you like. But for uh, paint, for acrylic paint, there are two um, kind of levels for acrylic paint. You're going to have what we call student grade paint, and that's going to be a bit more affordable and you'll get, you know, um, quite a bit of paint for a small amount of money. And then we have artist grade paint and artist grade paint is made with better quality materials and pigments and is gonna be a little bit more expensive and usually comes in smaller quantities. So if you are just starting out, I do want you to focus on student grade paint. And the brand that I recommend, and that's the closest to the consistency that I use in all my videos, Liquitex Basics is a really good brand to start with. Um, and then once you get kind of comfortable with student grade paints, maybe try a different brand, maybe try stepping up to the artist grade paint and just seeing what you like different from um, each kind of step. And I also have a few things and a few other videos that I'll leave links for that describe the different types of surfaces, which is your watercolor paper, your canvas panel and your stretched canvas. And I kind of talk about each of those. Um, for brushes, for acrylic brushes, you do want to go more um, with the ones that are actually labeled acrylic brushes. Um, acrylic brushes are usually synthetic or natural hair, and they're not as stiff as oil brushes because acrylic paint is water-based. You need a little bit of flexibility with those brushes. And especially if you're going with watercolor, you want a lot of flexibility in those bristles so you can have a little bit more control and do what you want. But for acrylic paint, um, the nice flexible brushes that are labeled acrylic brushes, those are really good ones to go for. And don't feel like you have to buy every single brush out there. A lot of times they do come in a variety pack and you can kind of uh, buy that, pick that up for a fairly good price and then try all different ones and see which ones that you like. But if you could only use three brushes or two brushes, um, the ones that I would recommend that you get for brushes is two sizes of the flat square tipped brush. I'd get a large size and kind of a medium size. And then the pointy brushes, if you can do two sizes of those, great. If you can only do one, go for a small size pointy brush um, and that's gonna help for your details. So you can get away with just two or three brushes. You don't have to buy the whole pack or all the variety of brushes. Um, and just again, just kind of find what is comfortable for you. Stay in your budget, uh, utilize what you have. If you can't afford brushes, try finger painting. That's actually quite a bit of fun. Um, another application is palette knife. You know, there's all different ways that you can um, utilize being creative and utilize your tools. So give that a try. If you still have any questions about your materials, um, check the description box and I'm going to leave a big list for things that I recommend for beginners and then just send me any other questions that you might have about specific uh, tools or paint. 
So thanks again for checking out this version of Ask Lovejoy. And please let me know any questions that you would like me to address in the future. Leave a comment or send an email. So I hope you have a great day. Happy painting. And until next time, cheers.